Let's do something interesting. We are going to, I'll need my screwdriver and possibly a knife. We're going to dissect a smoke detector and extract the synthesized radioactive isotope found inside, Americanum 241. Here is our specimen. I have already removed this, uh, this wall mount. Uh, there is no screws, you just pull it right off. The battery fell right out, which was great. I was glad to see there's a 9 volt battery in here I can use for something else. Pull that open. That was so difficult. And in here, in this uh, metal enclosure, is the radioactive stuff. Uh, yeah. That knife isn't the sharpest knife. There we go. That's that. Now I got just the circuitry. Hmm. Uh, like maybe I could. Grab on to that like this, and now what? Pull it off? It's not working. Now I don't know what this, this looks like epoxy over here. Oh, wow, okay. That was, look, there's a, uh, see those white things? There's a, those are little, those are more snap-in legs. So I just unsnap those. Wow. You need to push in on all three at the same time. That's how it looks. Well, I basically mangled the top of the steel chamber, but it doesn't look like I'll be able to take anything out from here. I tried prying with screwdrivers and it didn't really do much good. And I can't get any, can't get a good angle from there. So I'm going to try to completely remove it and go in from the bottom by desoldering the connections there, there, and there and probably all the other ones there to see what happens. Well, that was easy. All right, this might be the last step. There's a... a connection between the plastic and the chip. This is the final one, except for these snap parts down there. Okay, this is working better. I got a flathead under the metal pieces. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah. Uh, deeper! Okay. Just slide right out. God damn you. <sighs> Done. Win, win, up. Americium 241 radioactive isotope.